Yo, this is Els coming to you from Beamish Crafty Corner, and I'm just here to show you real quick a fast flip through of the um, Gothic journal that we were making that uh, had been ordered as a gift for someone. So this was the uh, consignment that I had. Sorry, my granddaughter's here, so I got toys all over the place. Here comes Miss Lily Bud. Hi, Lily Bud. How are you? Okay, so as you remember, we did this with this kind of leather binding on it here, and uh, we put in these uh, wax string and a five hole pamphlet punch. And then on the front, I just kind of put one of these little cards here and a little bow and some of these little skeletons. And then we opened it up. Now I left the first page blank intentionally so that she could write in here anything that she wanted. So when we opened the first one, of course, we've got this lovely little sweetheart here and this little motif over here. And then we have a piece of lace and a couple of little pockets. Um, and I have some cards that I need to put in here, but they're not dry yet. Then I have a piece of deli paper here with just a little detail at the top. And then we have... Guys! A... No. Hold on, we must talk in. And then I've got uh, a corset thing here. There's a little tap here for a card. i got a couple of cards here, a little something in the corner. Then we have some writing space and a little piece here. And then this is a deli bag. And I've got... Uh, couple of pieces in here. I actually got this from Natasha over at Journey of Crafting and uh, she sent all my stuff in these little deli bags. So I put one in here and just kind of cut the end off of it so I could use it as a pocket, put a little couple of nips into it. And then uh, right here I've got another one of those little skeletons. He's so cute. He's dressed up as a police officer with a beer belly. And uh, I put a little piece of trim here and I've got a little dial here. And we've got some uh, bats here and I used a little piece of lace to just kind of make a tab for this Then over here we've got some writing space and another the other end of the pocket which we actually just wrapped around the page uh, to kind of strengthen that and then I have a nice big bat tag here because that was one of the requests we've got some lace another corset some writing space uh, this is a falcon some more lace on the edge here then we have a little steampunk piece up here and some bats and vultures down here. Got a little flip here, kind of a vulture with the butterflies, very contrast. Then I've got uh, one of my popsicle stick paper clips. We've used another piece to make another tab. And then we've got uh, a little corset here, some blood splattering, a um, little bit of writing space, and a corset here that I tied some twine around to give it a waistline. And then I've got some very old antique um, corset lace here that actually came off of an old corset. And then I've got uh, some tags here. This one's like a dressmaker's guide and then a little field note and more blood here. And then this lovely little gentleman with some purple trim here at the bottom. You guys can't see that, so let me move it up. Oh, sorry. Then I got this little back card that I put in this little blue pocket, little glycerin, tiny little flower sticker down here. And another flip here, and that's a little uh, steampunk dragon. And then we have the rib cage here, the rib cage uh, dictionary page, and some. Uh, this is actually cheesecloth, but it looks like ba old bandage. And then uh, another little tab up here. Then we've got a tag here that we decoupage, a little writing space, a couple of little tags over here with some writing space on the back. And that's a Van Gogh painting. Some more uh, ribbon here. Another corset, some writing space. The steampunk heart. Then we've got uh, Captain Nemo's octopus here. We use some more of that cheesecloth that we coffee dyed. Some music, a little writing space. Um, these actually look like uh, pip safety pins. And then we've used this as a little tab here to pull this out. And it's just a little card that's the other half of that deli bag. Could you stop? Thank you. We've got a little bit of writing paper here. Some more uh, lace. Uh, this is a nice little cutout of a doll. Dressmaker's doll. Uh, you put in this little tag here, which is actually the back of some seven gypsies ephemera. And I just embossed some bats on there. And then I've got a little pouch here with a key on it. There's nothing in here but 
Um, I have another tag. Again, it was something that I decoupage, so it has to dry. I've got a heart here and just what looks like a mess on this page. This is deli paper. Uh, left this side clean. Then I've got a little tag here and a corset with a ribbon wrapped around it. This is uh, hand dyed paper. This is my teal. And then I've got a little piece of ribbon here and another corset and some writing space. Then we have some owls up here with some writing paper on the back. And this is actually hidden pockets. There's like four or five pockets here. I have another pocket down here with a tag and this one has a raven on the bottom. What do you think so far? You like it? Okay. Then I've got uh, some of this paper here. Um, we've got this experiment card with some writing paper. Another writing card here. A skull, some more blood splatter, and some tea dyed lace. Then we've got tag here in the corner with this little decorative piece. This is a piece of rice paper that we've kind of made two little tucks in so she can put pictures in there. Then we have this arsenic liqueur on another piece of hand dyed paper. This is my blue. And then I've got this little uh, piece of lace here that I put in and I made this little book for her. And this is all rice paper in here for her. And it just fits in there. Then I've got this little guy, isn't he cute? And that's on a uh, dictionary page as well with a piece of purple here. Then we have the arsenic page with the uh, arsenic uh, absinthe label and the little green bow and the green bottle. And of course the little praying skull down here who's also green. And then the wormwood flower. And then over here I made this kind of unusual little pocket and I put a couple of tags in there. And then over here we have another pocket, a little skull guy, and some wood alcohol. And this is a three-step pocket, so it's got three separate tags in it, a paper doily. Then I have an inventory tag in here. And I left this page kind of blank so that you could put pictures in, some lace. Then I have this page, which at the bottom has this little like journaling area and some teacups. And then I went ahead and I put these little note cards in there underneath a rather snug belly band. And then I have um, <clears throat> strip nine up here, one of my little paper clips. Then on this side we have another tag and a piece of tea dye, a piece of dyed paper. This is a uh, red dye. It's a very light red dye. Then I use some washi tape to make a tab over here. We have some more dictionary pages. This is uh, the Asian page, a little red trim on this one. And then I have um, the teacups. Now she specifically likes teacups. This was one of the things that was in the order. So I went ahead and I just put in some teacups on this page. I put this little piece of lace in here and it's just tied into the center. So um, it'll just kind of flop around. And then up here, uh, underneath two corner tabs, I put in this little uh, tea pocket. So that would be like a tea bag pocket. And so she could open that up and put something in there if she wanted to. And then I have, uh, just some ephemera pieces here and a little label and I made this little piece here by using a picture and putting it on a, could you get your head out of the shop? Thanks. Um, on a metal back and then I just kind of filled it with um, like crystal accents and then I thought this was cute. It's a little Halloween picture. It goes from a skull to a person and then over here we have some bats and I made this special little pocket for them and then I have a tea dyed guest check here with some little postcard tickets in it. Now, of course, all of these have to still have their ribbons attached to some dummy. This is um, a paper clip, and that's a hidden clip, and just some old lace here. Uh, left this page open so she put some pictures in. We've got a cutout here of a beautiful graphic that I have of a steampunk punk brain. Then we have a couple of owls on this page, and then on the other side of that doily. And then we have Rasputin here and some paper for journaling. We have a kind of an interesting little corner pocket here and I added this little tag to it. I still have to go through and kind of ink on my edges. And then I have this little page which is actually white but appears like to have a lavender piece to it um, because the other side is purple and it just kind of bled through. And so I've got a little corset on here and some writing space and really pink lace. And then on the other side, I have this beautiful black trim and this little detail here. 
and then a couple more note cards in there. Then we have this beautiful skull head over here on dyed paper. And then we have this little die cut here that I have in my shop. And that's a piece of dyed paper and a card. And then we have some stickers. And this is another um, dressmaker's dummy in a chair. And then we took this book page and we just folded it over and make a corner pocket out of it. We put this piece in and we have this beautiful piece of antique uh, ribbon here. Then on the back, we just added this little gold detail and left the page alone. Now these are all tea dyed. I've got this little pocket here. And then she really likes bats, so I have the anatomy of a bat in here for her. And some black velvet ribbon across the bottom. Very pretty. And then on the last uh, signature book, we have the Death Face Moth. And a little piece to journal. And then we have these little black daisies along the edge. Over here we have this sticker that was part of the set that we bought for this. Um, a library page. And then this beautiful vintage lace that I just glued flat and flush. Then over here we have another pocket and a little bingo card so she can journal on that. And then on the other side I have a paper clip here holding some photo edges for this photo page. We have a couple of more pieces of those stickers that I got for this journal. I um, actually bought a lot of these. I got them in the shop. Um, I have some more pieces here that are part of my um, Halloween and uh, sec my Halloween graphic set. So I've got laudanum and poison. And then I've got another tag here and another sticker with a little writing space. It's a beautiful ribbon. Uh, that is hand dyed paper as well. That's my purple. And then, hey, hey, I've got another piece here to write on. A couple of tags that still need to be finished. A dictionary pocket with a piece of um, washi tape across the bottom here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's, this is probably Tim Timmy's tape. And then I have this beautiful fairy graphic here, very dark. And I put this piece of purple lace along the side. And then on the other side, there's just this little hidden tuck pocket. And then I made this little piece here. This is a napkin that I've actually decoupaged on. And then I have a tag that goes in there. Most of these tags will be replaced and they're just here for demonstration purposes um, because most of the tags have been decoupaged or something and so they're waiting to be done. I have a little piece of uh, trim up here and some ribbon some lace down the side. And I have a little piece of uh, fabric here with a button and a little teeny card. And there's a key up here, <clears throat> a bat. And we made another one of those little uh, lace tabs. And then I have uh, my pocket here with my little skeleton and his uh, leaf crown. And then I got this uh, in, a, in the Halloween set that one-legged witchy woman that Laura is selling. And I thought that was adorable and I tucked that in. And then we have this, which is kind of floral, but it's actually lungs made out of flowers. I've got a brass key here with a little piece of ribbon on it. And this is on um, linen paper. And then I've got a few pieces here, wish, hope, dream, some little writing spaces, another key. This is, I believe, more of Timmy's washi tape on this piece of journaling paper. Another piece to write on here with a buzzard and a couple of bats and some writing paper here. Then we have this little sugar lead and I just left it kind of so you could put a little tag or something in there. And then I have arsenic over here with a couple more little tags. Then we have a couple of birds here and some writing space. And then up here, I've got another paper clip holding in some more picture pieces so they can go here. I've got a little gear and some details here. I've got a music page on this little tag, another pair of lungs. Uh, this is a cutaway of the human head, also on a dictionary page. And then right here, I've got this, it's just, this is the key page. And it's the same one that we looked at back here that is unique. Um, anyway, it, it was just the key page. And I went ahead and I stamped a skeleton on here and I embossed it. He's actually here a couple of times, a few times, but only in Boston once. And then these are the actual tags that will be in here. Um, they have to be cleaned up a little bit. These are toe tags. Attached to toe, name of deceased, age, sex, race, weight, height, place of death, date of death, cause of death. So I included some authentic toe tags uh, in here. I sent those to Witchy. She was just over the moon with those. 
And then I have another sticker and some more tags that will be going into this pocket, which is another dictionary pocket. And then it's got a secret tuck right over here. You can put something into. Another piece of lace here. Another steampunk piece. A couple of tags right here. I have another corset ad and another one of those steampunk pieces with a little teeny crown. And um, on the tab on this one, I used two pieces of what look like stamps that I believe are more tin. These might, no, I got these, I think, from AliExpress. Then I have this beautiful piece of lace washi here. Another piece of that um, lace trim of mine, a little tiny chandelier. It's another paper clip. A little piece of seam binding that went down the edge. And I sewed the same one here. Then I have this one that has two corner pockets with some tags. This is Carpe Diem on it. It's just a regular bookmark. A little bit of green lace on that one. And then I have this beautiful piece here. This is actually um, an artist who does this. And this is a cardboard dragon. It's a dragon made out of cardboard. And this is, of course, a one-dimensional photograph of that, but it's a beautiful piece of art. And then there's some, I'm going to be using uh, some burlap tags back here. I have a little flip here. And then I have this graphic here, this um, steampunk kind of a dragon holding a pocket watch. And I have this double pocket here little tag in the front and a larger tag in the bag in the back and then another corset some more vintage lace on there and then i have this piece which is again another uh, artist piece um i have to print to this so i can use the thingy um another piece of that lace that the trim that i used and i actually put on both sides of the page there's a little jar here and the little jar has some flies in it another piece of that big wide washi some more tags, another steampunk piece. Uh, here I just put another steampunk piece and another uh, paper clip that's holding on some picture corners. I have a piece of that really heavy um, dimensional graphics, a little flat graphics here with a place to write, another corset, and then a piece of gold piping down the side here and on the back. Just some little pieces with a gear and some more that's, that's it. This is a big puppy. Um, I think I figured this out at 148 pages, over 80 tags, and then a huge assortment of um, pockets and flips and things uh, that are in here as well. So that's it. That is the um, what we are calling the Gothic Journal. That was a consignment piece that will now go to its new owner. Um, all that's left is for me to put this one in the bag and put in the card and off it goes. Uh, I'd say it weighs a good four pounds. <laughs> um, I do still have to put the tags in that need to be in it and put in the, you know, I have to put the strings on those tags because they're wet, so that should add a little more weight to it. So this is going to be a pretty meaty one when it's done. Um, but I think that's, what a baby. Okay, I'll come check. Hold on. All right, so that's it. Um, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Thank you for watching all of the episodes on this book. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section at the bottom. Down there. Ring the red bell. Hit the red button for me. Okay? Just right there. See that red button? Hit the red button. Okay. Now, be nice to me. Ring my bell. Share me with all your friends. I make really weird journals. Until the next time, from Miss Lily and from me. Bye-bye.